Welcome to a video from the Dish Lifestyle Con. Let me take you back to June 2014. Windows 7 had been a big hit after the Trouble Vista release. Uh, Windows 8 and less than warm reception. Many people were not happy with the, the tablet-like experience that you got and people wanted the start menu back and things like that. So Microsoft released Windows 8.1, codenamed Blue, which addressed some of the issues. It had a sort of improve, improved start screen, uh, it had snap views, the new start button was back. I mean, the start button wasn't even there in Windows 8, don't forget. You need to hover down in this bottom left-hand corner to even see it. But uh, there were still issues. You had full screen apps, traditional metro, traditional apps, metro apps as they were, like the full screen ones. So Microsoft uh, looking at 2014 to fix some of these issues. So what I'm looking in this video is build 9870 of Windows 8.1, codenamed Dark Blue. But actually, it is an interesting thing. That it could have been Windows 8.2. It could have been Windows 9. And it turns out, in the end, it was one of the very early previews of Windows 10. So what do I mean by that? Well, what happened is Microsoft experimented with some features, which I'll show you in here. And I think they kind of uh, decided to go uh, a different direction and go with Windows 10, make it a bigger improvement over Windows 8 and differentiate it from 8.1 and, uh, and make a, a, you know, a thing that the start menu was back and everything else. So the uh, start menu was redesigned and you get the familiar UI that we get with, uh, with, Windows, uh, with Windows 10. But we did get a few interesting bits and pieces in here, so that's why I thought I'd show you on this one. And what we're seeing on here is the start menu from Windows 8.2, could have been Windows 9, that's a, and was um, not in Windows 10. Windows 10 gets a slightly different start menu. But this is the first look at the start menu um, that became the one in Windows 10. So this is the start menu that was in this build. So like I said, we're not Windows 10, we're not Windows 8, it was kind of in between 80, build 87, uh, 80. And if we have a look, You can see it's still identified as Windows 8.1 and version 6.3. When we got to Windows 10, it was version 10. Um, so it's it's still identified pretty much as Windows 8. But what we've got here is this new style start menu. So rather than it being at the full screen, it's um, a smaller start menu like Windows 10 and almost a bit uh, continuing in Windows 11. Now in Windows 8 and in Windows 8.1, when you launched an app, it would launch full screen, but uh, through uh, there's a, a registry change which I've enabled there, which is uh, on desktop apps, and then this would be how Windows 10 handled these metro modern apps. Uh, they don't all work on here, it's a bit hit and miss, but you can see I've got them in a window. You can resize them. You can drag them all along. Now, if you're thinking Windows 10, yeah, you could do this. This is exactly what Microsoft went on to do. In Windows 8 and Windows 8.1, it wasn't actually possible. You either got the full screen ones or you got these. So um, this was what Microsoft were working on earlier on. So something like this did actually get publicly released. This is the start menu on Windows 8.1. Update 3 for Windows RT, so a Surface RT, that's where I got that screenshot from, my old Surface RT. And you had the option of setting uh, Start Menu instead of Start Screen. And uh, after logging about, logging back in, you could then enable this menu. So Microsoft were experimenting with this and actually publicly released this for Windows, um, for Windows RT, but it never actually made its way into Windows 8.1. They decided then to carry that over to... Um, to, to Windows Windows 10. You notice some of the things that you could do in Windows 10, like re expanding this menu, change, dragging you know dragging its route size around, and that kind of thing is not here. Um, you can't seem to be able to group them like you can in, in in Windows 10 or in Windows 8, where you're on the full screen. So here's the option that you that you could have had. So um, if I go back to this start screen one i think we have to sign out and sign back in so sign back in and there we are back with the full screen one so this is the the windows 8.1 experience and um you've got the desktop button and 
if I get my mouse, you've got the all apps. And if I hover down here, you've got the start, the start button back. But with that registry setting, I've still got uh, Windows apps. I haven't got this connected to the internet, but I don't really want to risk uh, firing this up. There's not a lot of security patches installed on it. There's a couple of other things as well that um, that were introduced with this build. There was the uh, home, which when you um, when you launch File Explorer like this one in Windows 10, it became Quick Access. But uh, here, here it is in as uh, home. So there you can see a modern app, Metro app as they were called then. Uh, being able to resize and redraw it was a feature that was only really introduced in uh, until Windows 10. So there's a quick look at Windows 8.2 or Windows 8.1 update 3, maybe Windows 9, but what actually was the very first um, event, but what actually turned out to be an early version of Windows 10. Uh, yeah, so quite interesting feature. So there you, there you go, a quick look at uh, Windows uh, 8.2 or maybe it was Windows 8.1 update 3, Windows 9 it could have been, but it actually turned out to be so what was built upon to become Windows uh, Windows 10. So like we see the start menu that never actually made it to a production version of, uh, of Windows 8 apart from the RT version which I mentioned before. So uh, that, thanks for watching this video. I've got more historical videos of Windows. I've got looking at some cancelled operating systems, um, uh, early betas, that kind of thing on our YouTube channel, all the way up to the latest versions of Windows 11. You can get me on Twitter at Ian Dixon. Thanks for watching.